up guys sal here so desperate times call for desperate measures and that's what huawei has gotten themselves into it's no secret by now that huawei has got one month to act you see a couple of months ago huawei got their second temporary license to work with american companies that second license is set to expire next month in november the u.s officials have made it clear that they're not gonna give any more temporary proof to huawei so that means if things don't work out between the US and Huawei by next month, then Huawei is officially done using American technology. That will surely put Huawei in a vulnerable position. Now, it looks like Huawei has realized that Harmony OS is their best bet going forward in countering the US ban. And to make the Harmony OS platform grow, they are thinking about this idea which is quite famous in the world of PCs and laptops. I'm talking about the dual boot operating system. If you're not aware, dual booting is a way of using two operating systems on a single device. Now, according to inside information in China, Huawei is thinking about installing two operating systems on their upcoming Huawei P40 Pro, which is likely coming in March. One is gonna be Android, of course, and the other is their own Harmony OS. How it's gonna basically work is while you are booting your device up, a boot manager program displays a menu, allowing you to choose the operating system you wish to use. If you want Android, select Android. If you want Harmony, select Harmony. But you can't use both at the same time, just like how it works on PCs. Another interesting thing is Huawei can just issue an OTA update and make every Huawei smartphone out there compatible with dual booting. The devices like the Mate 30 Pro, P30 series, Mate 20 series and so on can be able to dual boot in the future with a software update. So it's not just limited to the P40 Pro. Basically, the idea behind all of this is to give more exposure to the Harmony operating system so that users will get familiar with this new operating system. Also, it will increase the market share of the Harmony OS that might convince developers to make apps for this new platform. Remember that apps can make or break an operating system, a very reason why Windows Phone failed in the first place. So if this rumor actually pans out, then it's really a great idea. But that's the problem. It's just a rumor. We don't know whether or not this is gonna actually happen, but it makes sense to believe that Huawei is actually thinking about this. As I've said, desperate times call for desperate measures. They'll do anything to save the sinking ship, and the dual operating system is something that makes sense for them to try if things don't improve by next month. So despite the ban, Huawei has managed to grow considerably in the first three quarters of 2019. Huawei shipped more than 185 million smartphones in the first three quarters, which is 26% more than the same period last year. And their profit margin has been increased by 8.7% as well. It looks like the ban isn't affecting them by any means for now. And one of the reasons is that the ban isn't in full effect just yet. So it will be interesting to see if the numbers would get affected starting December when the temporary license officially ends. But I don't think it will affect Huawei by much because for them, almost half of the sales come from China and Google services are already banned in that country. So they'll be just fine. But if they don't do anything in the rest of the world, then they'll die down sooner than we think. Anyway, do let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.